Um, so we're obviously announced a lot of money uh, going out for CARES Act money being spent and um, to provide relief to the state. Um, but as we've been discussing on June 15th, uh, we expect some uh, pretty significant changes as well in terms of our businesses and our ability to keep flexing things open in a, a smart, stepwise, responsible manner, always making sure that public health um, and the safety of individuals is, is first and foremost. And you know, given what we've seen in other parts of the country, some of the models and successful models we've been able to implement here in New Hampshire and other parts of our economy, uh, we feel very confident in taking some additional steps forward. So first, as we've been uh, kind of hinting at a little bit, uh, the data still supports the idea uh, that on June 15th, our stay-at-home order Order will expire and will transition to a safer at home advisory. Um, it, this removes the social gathering limitation of 10 people or less. It removes that uh, limitation and, um, and it also removes that the concept of essential versus non essential businesses. The fact that we've been able to flex virtually all businesses open at this point or are in the process thereof, where we ask business to again uh, adhere to those universal guidelines that we've put together and the specific guidelines for their industry. So our hats off again to the task force, the Reopen New Hampshire task force that's done a great job providing those individual guidelines to those businesses. And, and again, we just want those businesses to refer uh, to, those, um, uh, to those stipulations. Uh, some are in a phased approach. Um, some are, are a little more uh, uh, expansive, uh, but I think all were done um, again with a lot of attention and stakeholder input uh, that give uh, not just my office but the uh, public health and I think the businesses themselves the confidence uh, in terms of operating and not um, or in, and not creating these super cluster events or and not transmitting the virus in, in an aggressive way. On June 15th, the following areas will also be able to reopen under new guidance uh, or move to phase two of reopening. Gyms. Uh, traditional gyms will be able to open at 50% capacity to normal gym activity starting on June uh, 15th with some strengthened guidance. Amateur sports can now move into what we're talking about phase two, which will include the reopening of indoor athletic facilities, road races, things of that nature. Uh, bowling alleys will be able to reopen on June 15th uh, with strength, strength and guidance and capacity limitations as well. Uh, things like uh, tourist trains, organized motorcycle rides, race tracks, uh, small race tracks that is, will be able to reopen as part of the newly revamped outdoor uh, attractions guidance. And for the purposes of this guidance, um, the race tracks that seems to be a, a hot um, a question mark lately. We have had a few issues, but most race tracks will be able to open at 50% capacity. Uh, again, keeping with the six feet of social distancing between individuals or, or uh, you know, families and groups um, uh, that come from a, um, a similar um, a venue. Uh, and also, just uh, as a note, we're still working uh, with a viable plan, uh, specifically with New Hampshire Motor Speedway and Loudoun, obviously one of our premier uh, racetracks in the state, much larger in capacity, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, the NASCAR race uh, coming to New Hampshire, uh, and we're going to continue working with them to see what kind of capacity guidance. It's, it's a bit of a different situation given they are so large. Um, I think they hold well somewhere into the 60, 70,000 uh, range in terms of capacity, uh, and we maintain a great relationship with them, and we're going to work with them. Uh, specifically in terms of what NASCAR may hold for us and will continue to do so uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, charitable gaming facilities, museums, libraries, uh, and funeral homes uh, will also be able to move forward on June 15th, again, with new guidance and capacity limitations. Uh, and again, all the guidance documents can be found at nh.gov. Uh, uh, under the stay at home 2.0 button. So, you know, there's a, there's a big list there, but I think it's very organized. You can find your, your area of operation uh, for your guidance document. But all that goes into effect on June 15th, this coming Monday. So uh, we're, we're taking, I think, some really positive steps. Um, there's a few areas that uh, won't be able to move forward right away, uh, but we are announcing a June 29th opening date. The fi final guidance documents are not finalized, uh, but we continue to work on them with confidence that we can meet a June 29th deadline. Uh, uh, some of the last industries we're talking about, such as indoor movie theaters, performing arts centers, uh, and amusement parks, will all be able to reopen on June 29th with capacity limita limitations and uh, some of the other strengthened guidelines that we continue to work with the stakeholders in finalizing. Um, 
I guess that's it. I guess we can, I mean, those are the, the, the final three areas, frankly, and, and once we get through those, those final tough ones, we've always talked about amusement, um, amusement parks and movie theaters and things of that nature being some of the, the toughest things to really manage going forward, but seeing some of the other models in the other countries, um, I got to tell you, I didn't think we were going to be able to get here by June 29th, but we are, and we're doing it with great confidence. Our numbers continue to drop in New Hampshire. Uh, that's a great sign. I think we want to keep encouraging everyone to wear their masks to, uh, when out in public and they can't socially distance. It really does does make a difference uh, for the positive, to be sure. Um, and a lot of these guidelines will remain in place for quite some time. And so this is, again, people might be tired of hearing the term, the new normal, but it is the new normal, uh, at least for the time being. I think the next big inflection point we'll see is come September when we start looking at schools and universities opening uh, with their new guidelines. Um, I think that's when we'll finally feel like things are, are, are somewhat back to normal, to be sure. But um, there's really, there's a lot of hope for some business activity to take place, limited as it may be, but really allow some of our, our summer business operations that are so vital to the state of New Hampshire uh, to really commence in a positive way and a safe, very safe way.